Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're diving into CVE 2022-23-935. In EXIF tool, it's a command injection, um, and I'm solving the investigation box, but really, uh, you know, I find the POC, uh, once you find the existence of this bug, you can copy that, you can basically continue and exploit it without having to understand it, but I want to dive in and understand what's going on, why does this happen, uh, and so in this video, we're going to do just that. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to start by looking at the Perl docs for the open command. And you'd think like, how interesting can an open command be? But uh, Perl does some weird stuff. So let's take a look. Um, first of all, the open command can take a bunch of different uh, forms. So you can give it just a file handle, file handle expression, be like, open this file handle with this file name. Um, it can give a mode, which is like, how do I want to open it? Um, and so with that in mind, we'll come down and we'll jump down to the, let's see, where is it here? Uh, opening a file handle into a command. And so Perl has this idea that says like, oh, I want to open this file, but instead I want to do this command and then treat the output of the file, or I want to run this command. And then like, if I open, if I write to the file, I'm writing into that command, um, which is a strange concept because it allows for things where like, okay, so here I have this mode, right? Where I'm going to have, this is a command where I'm going to read article. I'm going to input that into the Caesar command. And then the results are going to get put into whatever I went read from this file handle. Um, and you can actually shorthand that by not giving it a mode, but instead just putting it this pipe at the end of the file name, quote unquote, which is really the command. Um, and you can see like, this is decrypt, decrypt article. This just says ditto, it does the same thing, right? Um, so this is the kind of weird functionality that is really kind of unique to Perl and that we're gonna exploit here. Um, if we jump over here to this gist, um, this is the documentation I found for this CVE uh, 2022 23935. And they talk about, you know, active tool, which is written in Perl, very common, awesome utility. I use it fairly regularly. Um, and they talk about how uh, basically the in this get image info function, there is a command injection. And uh, we're going to dig into it. We're going to go to the source code. So I'm going to skip through this for now. But basically, then later, it actually eventually calls um, open file handle mode file. Um, and we can use that if we touch, you know, here we go. So we create a file name, touch pwn pipe. And now if we run access tool on touch pwn pipe, then we literally are going to touch a file called pwn and that executes. So um, let's jump into, we will look at this in detail now coming over to the exif tool source code. Um, now we know this is in version, versions before 12.38. Um, first thing I always do is come over and look for releases and they're really, there are no releases. Um, they haven't done releases, but they do do tags. So we can start to come through here and look at different tags. Um, and we actually don't, we don't, we'll go, this will be easier if we go back to the main window and specifically we can come over here and look at tags. So we can do 12.3, we'll start with 3.7. Um, and we can take a look here. We can see there's 294 commits. The last commit is December 8th, 2021. Um, if we want to switch over to 12.38, um, we get some more commits and you know, what's this eighth so 20, so 12 days later, there's a commit here. Um, so we can see they're pretty close together and we can now start to look at the files in these tagged commits. Um, so let's see, we can go to, let's, let's open up 12.37, the vulnerable code and take a look at it. Um, and I said, I was going to show you why you might legitimately use this Perl functionality. And they actually have an example here that makes some sense. Um, so let's see if we can find, um, they said it was in the, let's see, what do we call it? It was in the, uh, Get image info. Image. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So um, we come down here a little bit, and right, right here is our vulnerable code running right here. So we're going to take our file name and we're going to save it as a variable called pipe. And then if we're running the do unzip, which is an option we can give at the command line, um, then we're going to continue to this block. And we're going to say, does this file, this is like a regex compare, end in, that's what the, uh, that's what the dollar sign means, end in .gz2 or .gz or .bz2. Basically, if I recognize these two file extensions, I'm going to continue. Um, I'm going to say my type, let's see, what's going on here? And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the type equals gz, so if it ends in gz, um, instead of opening the file, I'm going to gzip minus dc the file and then pipe the results. And so basically I'm going to read the unzipped thing. Same thing here, bzip2 dc file. So I'm going to uncompress and then read the results from that as opposed to just from the raw file. Um, and so this actually makes sense. This is why you'd want to do this, right? You just replace the file name with the unzip command 
and uh, now you're reading the unzipped stuff. Um, the challenge, well, so we can even go further and we can say, um, I'm gonna jump a little bit out of order here. Um, if we go into, I believe it's lib image, fm tool here, and uh, we come down to, actually it might be in this, uh, it's right here, so open, sub open, sub open. Uh, so we have this function here open that eventually gets called. And at the very bottom here, we're going to pass it file mode file. Um, and so it does all these things to try to check for the mode. And at the very beginning, it says, um, let's see, if the file ends with a pipe, if the file ends with a pipe, then set this equal to empty. Otherwise, this will be this uh, angle bracket. And so unless the mode is explicitly defined, we're going to set the mode to this unless it ends in a pipe. And if it ends in a pipe, we're going to set it to nothing. And then down here at the very bottom, we're going to call open file handle and then just put the mode and file name in the same string because that's how Pro likes to do it, right? It's an option. Um, and so what that means is if we manage to get a file name ending in pipe, then this mode will be nothing and we'll just run the open the file name ending in pipe, which then executes that code. And that's, you know, that's what we're going to exploit. That's the vulnerability. So let's take a look. How do they fix this? Um, we'll go back here and we will go to, uh, we can actually just change it in the URL. And now, um, instead of going into these files again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on this commit, or on this, I guess this date, and we can see all the changes update to, to 12.3.8. And so we have the change log here. Um, we can see patch security issue thanks to Joe Lathan, Joe Lothan. Um, some meta, blah, blah, blah. We can skip through all that. We want to get into exit tool right here. Let's change the version. And the big change right here is this trusted pipe. And let's expand this out a little bit so we can see. So here's our code we were looking at before. Um, I'm going to run this down just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So now, um, if we search for pipe, what we find is we start off by making pipe our file name. Now down in here, only if we've already decided we're doing unzip and if we, the file matches on ending in .gz or .bz2, so we can't end in a pipe on our own to get into this, then we're going to come down here, we're going to set the pipe equal to, and then we're going to set trusted pipe equal to 1. Now this was a little confusing to me at first because I was like, what is dollar sign, dollar sign, ET, trusted pipe? So dollar sign ET is the, um, you know, I don't, it's the object for the main, the main object here, um, exif tool probably, it's the exif tool object. Um, and so we're basically saying we're going to create a hash object within that thing called trusted pipe, and we're going to set it equal to one. And so this trusted, now our main uh, exif tool object has a very, has this variable trusted pipe is, is one. And we only get there in this case where we set the pipe explicitly to be this thing. And we've even been, we've been safe. You know, I should have called this out even in, you know, uh, the previous version, 12.3.7. Um, it is being very careful here to not let you do any kind of command injection. This QQ is a Perl function for um, basically, quote, quote, how do I handle quotes and make sure I have nothing injectable inside of it. Um, so it is building this very safely. Um, and so if you've got this safe thing, then we can set trust pipe equals to one. Uh, that brings us to our next change. We'll just do a control F for trust underscore pipe. And so here's where we use it. Before, where, where we were saying, hey, um, if the file ends in pipe, set mode equal to blank. Now we say, if the file ends in pipe and self.trust pipe, set the mode equal to blank. Otherwise, set the mode equal to this. So that means when I send in something ending in pipe, it doesn't go through that um, you know do compression loop because it doesn't end in GZ or BZ2. And therefore, it doesn't set trust pipe. And therefore, it's going to set the mode here, and I'm going to not be able to do command injection. So um, I thought this was a neat example. I often will poke fun at Perl because it does these crazy things. It's still not a good idea to allow you to be setting a mode within the file name. Like, just use, you know, if instead we'd come back here and just use this explicit mode set, um, that would be way better. But um, anyway, I'm not sure it even fixed that, this problem, though. So. Um, Anyway, this is a neat bug. I enjoyed kind of just figuring out what was going on and I thought you might enjoy seeing it as well. Thanks for sticking around with me till the end. Uh, I will talk to you next time.